بسم الله والحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على المصطفى ثم ما بعد إمام سيد نوسي رحمه الله in the 25th word in his tafsir the words he presents us with an interesting position on anthropology Anthropos meaning human being, Laji meaning study of, anthropology meaning the study of the human being, if we take the Greek literally or linguistically. Imam Sayyid Nursi Rahimullah, he's concerned with where we're going, and he was writing in the 20th century. He's concerned with where we're going as far as understanding ourselves as far as understanding the self, knowledge of the self in relation to the dignity of the human being. And he sees that one of the imperatives of the age is to restore proper thinking, proper belief. And he goes about this task of restoring proper belief by plumbing the Qur'an al-Kareem and deriving from it principles of thought which will guide the human being from worry, despair, doubt and a criticism which is purposeless or cynicism to a foundational model for thinking which would allow the human being to be a person of hope reason to be a person of balanced critique to be a person of evidence to be a person that is emotionally well tuned he says quoting from surah al-baqarah that allah said and he taught adam the names all of them then he presented them unto the angels and said now tell me the names of these if you speak truly if you speak truly, they said, Glory be to you. We have no knowledge save only that which you have taught us. You are the all-knowing, all-wise. The 31st and the 32nd ayat from Surah Al-Baqarah. He goes on to explicate or to make clear the meaning contained within these two ayat. He says the verses first mentioned that Adam is superior to angels and being God's vicegerent due to the knowledge he received as a divine gift and then the angels defeat before Adam with regard to knowledge the Quran concludes its description of this event with two universal names the all-knowing the all-wise thus the angels acknowledge since you are the all-knowing and the all-wise you instructed Adam السلام, in the names and made him superior to us through that knowledge, you are the all-wise and therefore give us according to our capacities and give him superiority because of his capacity. Imam Sayyid Nusri Rahimahullah is teaching us then that the human being is unique. The human being is unique. The human being is one unique creation within the context of the universe in fact the crown of creation not because the human being has a status above others which he or she has taken for himself and attributed such as the title of king or queen or master and so on and so forth because Allah Taala created the human being in a dignified position he gave the human being the status of being a vicegerent so then we find here a point of similarity between Judaism and Christianity and Islam the Hasidic Jews to this day affirm the position of the human being as being the crown of creation and so do many thinking, believing Christians. Now, 
Imam Sayyid Nursi Rahimullah, he teaches us the importance of understanding what is the role of knowledge. He shows us that the source of knowledge is revelation. And then implicit is the fact that the second source of knowledge is contemplation and reflection upon the universe and upon ourselves. The universe and ourselves being the creation of Allah and the Quran being the revelation of Allah. So we have revelation and creation as the two sources of knowledge. So we have revelation and creation as the two sources of knowledge and more specifically we have reason and revelation as the two sources of knowledge. So Imam Sayyid Nursi Rahimahullah he teaches us then that the human being in order to realize potential, realize identity, that the human being must be a person of knowledge. And that knowledge must be properly acquired. Acquired through the proper lens and the proper understanding. So then when we plunge the universe with thought to derive principles, if those principles are not predicated upon ethics and morality, we find that we go astray. And that we have seen time and time again in history. And the examples are so abundant that they are not worthy of mention. So then, if we want to understand how to proceed, we have to come back to a knowledge of self. And that knowledge of self is that the creator of the universe created us as vicegerents. So we have a responsibility in the world. We have a unique position in the world. We have a unique position in the universe.